So the weather applied on every aspect? It's completely crap, yeah. The weather... Yeah, we've decided we're going to start bringing the big Milwaukee light now because... Hello again. For you, it's not been too long, but for us, it's been a few days. We um, did a little fencing job in between while the weather was bad. And it was bad, let me tell you. <laughs> we didn't film it because it was just a quick fencing job, but um, got that more or less finished yesterday. So today, rain has died off, thankfully, so we're back here. And there we go, there's our nice smooth slab. So had plenty of days to dry off. Uh, got a bit of concrete in the cavity. Um, we've hopefully got everything we need. Got the sort of all the batteries assembled and on charge again. And we've got all the tires packed in, we've got the gear to do all the cutting and the tying the vertical damp installing. So we should be should be set for a decent day. Loaded out. I'm let's let's find out together. Oh, not too bad. There you go. That's why you get some brick jackets. I thought the room was going to be that heavy; it would have gone through, but no, they did the job nicely. Just the top, top floor a bit damp. There you go. Happy days. I was a, I was a bit scared because it was quite heavy these last two days. Anyway, I'll stop gambling. Stop gambling. I'll stop rambling. There we go. I don't gamble. We will get cracking. Once Dad uh, comes back around, we'll get the tools loaded out and we'll, uh, I'll get a mix on probably, and we'll make a start. Quick one as well, in between, uh, just remembered. We need to, we still need to go to Selco and pick up more insulation, but that's not going to be a big deal because we should just be doing brickwork today. Maybe we'll, we'll get like uh, some block corners up or something, depending on how far we go. We've only brought four cement with us because... The weather's been that bad and the cement was that fragile, we thought we'll just leave it in the garage and take what we need as the days go on. Now that should be everything. <laughs> we will uh, get you set up on time lapse while we get ready. We'll uh, catch you on time lapse. So uh, a little update for unknown reasons, the power's gone. So they're not charged anymore and we can't get the mixer on. We're set up for what power. Are we, doing? we hadn't fell out with Bell, we've had a battery mixer. Sorry, if I hadn't fell out with Bell, we'd have a battery mixer. Uh, if Bell treats us with respect. Um, 900 pound plus fat in berries. They had one yesterday. I, I said, if you saw me, you're joking, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't impressed. Uh, anyway, we'll cut that out. But yeah, so we're waiting for the customer to get back and hopefully they'll be able to get us some power one way or another. But we've got stuff to do in the meantime, at least. We're, um, Dad's getting the vertical damp cut set up. So that's going to be there, and he's marked, he's actually, he's done a little big brain move and marked the the saw with the depth we need because the building inspector specified he wants no more than 50 mil cutting through, so. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to degrade the integrity of the brickwork. So it just needs to be enough to get the damp in so the damp doesn't track through. He said anything past 50 mil will be alright. Um, <sighs> starter packs, where have they gone? Over there, somewhere. There, yeah, with the barra. So we, yeah, we, we've got stuff to do in the meantime at least. This is all fiddly stuff which will would have been setting us back anyway, so we get all this out the way then we're happy. Um, yeah, that's it. So um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get you on time lapse while we do some of these little jobs and then fingers crossed the uh, customer can get back soon so we can get some power.
go for a break now because look at that. Lightly toasted egg and bacon sandwich. Bloody hell. Delicious. So, we'll see you after break. Right, well, about two hours later than I'd hoped it was, but um, DPC's not in yet, but the cut's done. Starter pack's up, starter pack's up. Most, you know, all the DPC's at this side. We're just going to get the uh, mortar on the boards, get the frogs filled up, get the DPC bedded down. Profiles are up, ready to go. So, um, hopefully. We found out what's wrong with the power too. It was our extension yeah, a dodgy lead. lead, yeah. I've got, I'm getting a new one for Christmas, so, you know, what, just less than two weeks' time off, we'll be okay again. So We'd yeah. have made you with the blue one, but it's been left out in the rain. Yeah, very, very wet, the blue one. Push that back a bit if you can, mate, up to the fence. This one won't go back because the um, block pavers. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Ready. Board, board, board. Don't think we need one here. This one will do. So, we're going to run this side in, rack it back, rack it back far enough to get to the window height. So, we'll come up to the window height. Come back, set the window out, and carry on with the window reveal, which again is 660, which is a brick, two and a half brick, I think. So, so the, so the little pillars are going to be tiny, tiny block weight pillars. Let's get cracking.
14th of December? Is that nine days to Christmas? Eleven. Nine. Eleven. And, um, what did I say it was? Fourteenth. A week to the shortest day. And it starts getting light again. It's currently sat outside Selco. And we've just come through all that horrible, busy traffic. We've just been over to Joseph Parr's over there. Because, um, they're the only local place that do, they still do loose aggregates so they do half ton bags as well so I've picked up half a ton of three quarter limestone to backfill the rest of the conservatory extension wherever it is and while we're here we're getting our what are we getting insulation insulation our cavity insulation from Selco because they're pretty much the only people who do the 150 at the moment and they do the canal stuff and we much prefer the canal stuff because it's not it's not itchy is it and it it doesn't it, 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 it doesn't disintegrate either like the fiberglass stuff. I think this stuff's maybe a plastic bottles, I think. Mm. But it's quite um it's quite robust and easy to work with, easy to cut with a decent knife, so that's where we get it from here, not Fairwoods. The stuff that Fairwoods do is we don't really like that stuff, so we get pretty much everything else from them. So we're gonna see what we can fit in the van and it's free delivery so we'll just get the rest dropped off whenever they can drop it off. As long as we've got a few to make a start. So we um, just noticed, said to Alex, it's very quiet in the building section since this morning at 8 o'clock. Joseph Paz, there's nobody in there. And they've got two wagons in the yard. There's a few vans here, but it just seems very quiet. Unless people aren't starting jobs this close to Christmas. Maybe. But anyway, um, let's get in there and get our insulation and get to the job. And hopefully it'll have stopped raining by then. We're back. 10 to 9. Yes. So... It took us an hour, but it was busy in there, wasn't it? And there weren't many checkouts on. We, uh, we, we got four and said, can we get the other four delivered? He said, right, you're going to have to go to the other till to do that. So there was a big queue there. So we said, right, we'll try and get the four in, see if we've got room for the other four. So got them in, went back in. Queues had gone down. There's only three packs. So we had to find a guy with a forklift to get the other packs down to get the extra pack. So we got there in the end. If we could have just picked it up, we'd have been gone by now, but... Um, Traffic seems to be easing a bit, so we're going to head off now and get to the job. It's still raining, so there's no rush. So we'll catch you at the job. Quarter past nine. Tell you what, it didn't take long to get here. No. And we're here. I'm just showing around the corner where we are. Yeah, we're at the spa, we're not at the job. Yeah, we're here at the spa. Because it's still raining. And I want a coffee. I've got a free one. Come get me free coffee. Or I might just get a... Just get the deal. Galax is... Whatever he's having. Oh, thank you. Since he's going to Sweden in... Two weeks. Two weeks with no money. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to get these and probably have an early break and then we can get a crack when the rain stops then. So we'll catch you when we come back with our goodies. We've got uh, cement. We left the blocks uncovered. I uncovered them so that the sun and the wind get on yesterday and then forgot about them last night so they're soaked. Well, no, it so, said it wasn't going to rain. Well, that's true. It said it wasn't going to rain, it was going to stay above zero. Yeah, it, 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 dropped, it dropped frosty and then it kept started raining about or whatever time this morning. So the weather applied on every aspect? It's completely crap, yeah. The weather crap, it should be called. So I'm going to get my boots on. While Alice gets the mix in, I'm going to get some blocks in and stack them in threes so they can get a bit of drying out of them before we use them. So, yeah. And then we've managed to get all the insulation in, as you can see. So we obviously need to get all that out now. So, um, let's get some blocks loaded out. <laughs> Yeah. 
bad as I thought. We're at the bottom. It's not as bad as I thought. I'm at the bottom. So, you need to Rained again, the forecast is good, but it's not playing ball, so there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're up to 18 courses now, I want to get another two on, get it up to 20. There's no point stretching if we don't have to. We can get the trestles up a nice height now, probably get the block work up a course higher, then let that go off. We can work the trestles, stand on the block and work overhand, and then they've got um, 12 to go, I think, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, yeah, twelve to the top, because there's like two courses above lintel light, so... 12, 18 times 12 is 180, 36, 216, 216 brick left in that, after we've finished the 20 course of course. There's our window reveal, and we're going to try and get that blasted in this afternoon. Alex just going to get the sand to get the next mix in, and I'm going to start loading the boards out so we can get these last two topped off. It rained while we were on our dinner and then stopped again, but it's, it's there's so much wet stuff, we can't afford to let anything else get wet. Oh. 
they, they take a bit of water these brick but once they take a bit of water they saturate pretty quick so gotta be careful with them Half two. Oh, let's get them in. It's not cleared up. It's at that height where you can't see and you can't reach. There you go. Done. Okay. If you need a spot board here, one over there with the toolboxes, and then we're going to. So we've got a pillar and then solid wall. I've got a full mix there, we're just going to get that, see where we get with that today. So I need to shut up and get set up.
know she just added to that, but it smells like Nando's again. <laughs> Hi guys, there isn't it? For all of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for them all to go in first because they just keep falling out. Don't It's going now, I can't see properly. It's going dark. Have I got what on the wall? Try wires. Yeah. Yeah, there's proof the bricks are different sizes there. dark again <laughs> but obviously it started to rain as we were finishing up so we had to call it short but we've got eight courses up on the side and dad got a cheeky extra course on the front so <coughs> yeah we've decided we're going to start bringing the big Milwaukee light now because we can't escape staying here till dark whether we're finishing work or if we're tidying it's going to get dark so why don't we use that big light that we have in our garage but yeah, there you go. Four more courses till we reach window height on this side. So, not too bad. Could have been worse. 
But yeah. A good half day down. Hmm? A good half day down with hold ups the last two days. Yeah, we've had a few hold ups in the morning in the last two days, but obviously we took care of, we took care of one of them by picking up insulation. Well, seems we, for, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.